Hi, this is Dan Nelson. Thanks for watching this video as I do a painting of Little Washington, North Carolina. On the third Friday of every month, they have a festival they call Music in the Streets. And this is the second time I've participated in that event. Had a great time. It was hot, hot, hot that night. But there were still quite a few people out, and I had a wonderful time visiting with onlookers and passersby. I'm painting here, as most of you probably know, but I'll go ahead and tell you again. I'm painting in acrylics. I, most of my paintings are acrylic underneath and oil on top, and that's what this one is going to be as well. I painted acrylics because they dry very quickly and you can easily build up layers of color without waiting a long time for them to dry. There's a photograph of the scene that I'm painting and I include it partly so that you can see that I'm not trying to copy it too carefully. One of the hard lessons for artists to learn is that it's not their job to reproduce a scene or reproduce an object or a photograph but in fact to produce something. It's not important that you, it be very accurate. Now I say that and ironically this, this painting ended up actually pretty accurate but uh, that was almost a mistake. <laughs> a number of you have commented on my painting with two hands. I'll comment on that a little bit. Uh, years ago I read that da Vinci painted with both hands. Maybe that's what got me started. But I, I do it for a number of reasons. Not, not really to show off, although that helps too. But uh, I'm almost always in a hurry when I paint, and believe it or not, you can paint faster with two hands than you can with one. But the real reason that I do it is my left hand is not very coordinated, and it really doesn't uh, do what I tell it to. It makes a, a lot of random spasmodic marks that my right hand can't quite imitate. So I end up with a more interesting painting if I paint with two hands. If I'm painting with my left hand, I know that I'm operating out of the right side of my brain. I'm trying to capture the magic of abstraction, not getting bogged down in literal copying of the scene. I think one of the jobs of the artist, at least the representational artist, is to exaggerate slightly the play of light and the effect of color in the scene that he or she is painting. Because we are artists, those of us who are artists, we tend to notice things that other people don't notice. But if we include them in our painting and exaggerate them just a little bit, people will, will see the effect we're after. And then hopefully the next time they see that effect in real life, they'll go, ooh, look, and they'll, they'll actually see what uh, you showed them in a painting. I think that's a neat role to play in the lives of people. I open their eyes to see things they wouldn't have seen on their own. When I do these underpaintings, I'm going back and forth and back and forth, as you can see, between light values and dark values. Uh, small details sometimes and then coming back with a broad brush and doing wide washes of color. Fairly often in my painting in the last couple of years I've used a rag as I'm doing here right now. I use a rag to paint with. I do this a lot when I'm doing in oils, but even a little bit in, a, in acrylics. I love the music I'm playing here, and I, I'll make put in a plug for my dear friend Gintus Aberius. On the final credits uh, frame of this video, you'll see his website. I invite you to go there and even make a contribution to him and if you read his story you'll see you'll see why I'm saying that. I won't go into the details here. A dear friend and an amazing, amazing musician.
I think I painted the sky on this painting six different times in acrylics before I did it the last time in oils. <laughs> Uh, that's the beauty of acrylic. You can just do it again and again and again until you get it right. There, there I am using a rag again. I wanted to make sure that there was an atmospheric perspective going on, soft colors. That's about it. I, here's the photograph again, and here's the final painting with the oil details. I simply refine some of the details, correct some of the colors, and get the values exactly where I want them. I was fairly happy with that painting. It sold the next day. So that's always a good thing. And thank you so much for watching. Appreciate it. Come back again soon.